Hi everyone, Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards here. Um, tonight I'm going to be um, showcasing some of my uh, vintage autographed baseball cards. Um, for a number of years when I was, um, it's been a long time now, but when I was in my uh, late teens and early 20s, I used to uh, write to baseball players quite frequently and uh, get um, usually cards signed um, by them. Uh, and a lot of the players that I got in the mail when I was cl um, when I was doing this um, are no longer around. You know, this has been 15 years, um, or give or take, since um, I've been a through the mail, a regular through the mail autograph um, collector. But uh, tonight I'm going to show you some of my uh, favorite um, pieces that have, I've gotten signed through the mail. A lot of the, these are uh, vintage baseball. Um, I, I did some football, um, a little bit of other sports, but mostly baseball. Um, and I'm going to show you my favorites, and I'm going to show you um, a, a few at the end that have great stories with them. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now the first card I'm going to show you is a 53 Bowman Color that was signed by Carl Erskine through the mail. Uh, absolutely beautiful autograph. 1952 Tops, Larry Jansen. This is one of my favorite cards of all time because the reason he's holding up seven fingers is because he has seven children, <laughs> which is kind of cool. That's that's kind of a neat story. But uh, he sent this to me, and he also sent me a, a business card signed, um, that which I thought was very, very cool. Um, I actually gave it to my friend who is a Giants fan, gave him the business card because I thought he would get enjoyment out of it, but uh, 52 tops, Larry Jansen. Next, this is one of the only autographs I've ever paid for uh, through the mail. This is a 79 tops, signed by Raleigh Fingers. It was still very inexpensive. I think it was $8 uh, I, had to, I had to send to get, to get his autograph in the mail, but it, just a gorgeous autograph. Next is one of my favorites because it's personalized, which didn't, it didn't happen that often when I was doing this. Uh, this is Don Mueller, and he put best wishes, Brandon, Don Mueller, 54 tops card. I thought that was uh, very, very, uh, very nice of him. Next is one of my favorite Reds of all time. I'm a uh, Cincinnati Reds fan. This is a 54 Bowman that I was uh, able to get uh, Joe Nuxall to sign uh, before he passed away. So I was uh, very happy to get that. Next is another Cincinnati Red. Um, some of these, the autographs are just gorgeous. Uh, you, you don't see autographs this beautiful um, very often anymore. But this is Jackie Cullum, who was a, a player for the Reds in the 50s. This is another 54 Bowman card. Just uh, just absolutely gorgeous autograph. Next is a uh, well-known Yankee, uh, Gil McDougald. He signed this in bold blue Sharpie. Uh, I was very happy to get this card signed and the autograph turned out just perfect. Um, couldn't have um, turned out any better. So I was able to get him before again before he passed away. Another um, rival to uh, the Yankees. This is a Johnny Pesky, a longtime Red Sox Johnny Pesky card that I was able to get signed by him in the mail. And he was nice enough to put his number as well. Which I thought uh, that was very nice of him, and a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful autograph, very clean. Next is another um, Hall of Famer. Uh, this is Monty Irvin, who I was able to get in the mail uh, before as well, before he passed away. Uh, a lot of these guys just aren't around anymore. Um, but it was, it was, I was really happy to get this. Um, and also because uh, he played in the Negro Leagues, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, I have some other really cool ones I'll show uh, maybe in a later video. Tonight I'm just showing my um, some of my favorites. This is a 54 Bowman Don Larson rookie card that he was kind enough to sign for me through the mail. Um, one of the, um, not my favorite set, uh, to be honest. I think a lot of people, you know, the 54 Bowman set doesn't have as much love with a lot of collectors as maybe um, some of the other sets from this era. But um, some really, really, um, they look great signed. I mean, <laughs> this uh, this card turned out really great. Nice blue Sharpie. 
similar to the uh, Gil McDougall's. Now the last two I'm going to show you are the two neatest stories that I have uh, with through the mail collecting. Uh, the first, this is a 59 Tops baseball card signed by Virgil Trucks, uh, who was a pitcher for the New York Yankees. Now, I wrote to him, and uh, he, in addition to signing this card for me, he sent me a offer to buy. I wish I would have done this. I never. I didn't buy. Ended up. I didn't end up buying. Uh, end up buying the book. But he sent me an offer to uh, purchase his biography a book called Virgil Fire Trucks. He sent me this offer and he wrote me a letter. I'm gonna to try to get this to focus. He wrote me a letter and he signed it. Brandon, glad to sign your card uh, and enclose this of my book. Good luck in your collection. Sincerely, Virgil Trucks. Um, this is towards the end of his life, but just one of the, one of the coolest things that I've, I've gotten. Uh, the last card that I'm going to show you, and a, another great story, is Paul LaPalm. Uh, he was a uh, player in the 1950s. This is his 1955 Bowman card, in addition to having one of the most beautiful autographs that I have ever seen. Uh, he also was kind enough to write me a letter. Uh, I He responded on the letter that I sent him. Forgive me while this shakes, but this is a little bit of a challenge. I wrote to him, <laughs> and he was kind enough to write back. Hi, Brandon. Uh, I want to wish you the best in your life, and in collecting, I am s still glad I played in the 50s. So many great players just after the war, and the fans were super to the players. Um, God bless uh, Paul. And then he put P.S. Hope you like the extra photo. He actually included uh, uh, an additional four by six black and white photo that he uh, personalized and uh, signed for me that I unfortunately do not have with me. I think it's at my my parents' house um, somewhere. But um, just a really really neat item, and I was just I was just delighted to see. Uh, that a player could be so nice and just write a letter like that. Um, I, I, something that will keep with me forever. So in addition to having a beautiful autograph, um, just a, a wonderful, wonderful collecting experience. So that is it uh, for the, uh, tonight's showcase. I uh, hope you're all doing well and uh, keep collecting vintage baseball.